Converting an IV to a saline lock. After checking the doctor's order, wash hands and prepare equipment. Identify client and explain procedure. Prime injection port or extension tubing with injection port with normal saline. Keep syringe attached. Don clean gloves. Assess that IV is infusing and IV site has no signs of phlebitis or infiltration. Clamp infusion tubing. Place a 2x2 two two gauze under IV site to absorb any blood and fluid drops from IV disconnect. Apply digital pressure to the vein just above the tip of the catheter. Disconnect IV tubing from catheter. Quickly attach primed saline lock to catheter hub, carefully twisting to secure. Flush port with normal saline. Amount is determined by the size of saline lock. Use positive pressure to prevent reflux of blood into saline lock. If lock has a clamp, maintain positive pressure by simultaneously closing clamp while completing flush. If lock does not have a clamp, simultaneously remove syringe while completing flush. Secure saline lock with tape. Document fluid intake on client's I and O record. If infusion is to be continued via the saline lock, the end of the tubing must be kept sterile.